Last year, we got a chance to take a look at the Intel Arc A380 GPU and while it's a decent entry-level graphics card with flagship-like and future-proof features, as an enthusiast and a gamer at heart, I want to check out the more powerful and mainstream GPUs from Intel. Kuya Grant! Bagong GPU na mo! I got you! I have here the Intel Arc A750. But first, I have a little something for our viewers. Wow! Three lucky winners will get a Steam code worth 1,000 pesos each just by following this simple step. First, like and follow Intel PH Facebook page. Second, answer this question correctly. By the way, dapat tama yung sagot. Ito yung question. Which graphics card will supercharge your PC gaming stream seamlessly, enable fast content creation, and spend less time waiting for your project to export? Tip. Ito. Simple tip lang din naman siya. You will be able to answer this question after watching our video. Next, comment your answers on this Facebook post, tag a friend, and share this post on your timeline. Winners will be announced on May 29 on Gadget Filipinas Facebook page and my Facebook page. So make sure to follow me as well. So best of luck to everyone. Wow! Oh my God! My Steam code giveaway. Yes. So Steam code. So sorry, ka. Dapat lahat sa sali. Alam ko yung sagot. Eh. Alam ko yung sagot. Ako din. Parang alam ko din yung sagot. So ka. Uh mm huh. -hmm. You've been a content creator and streamer for the past 12 years. Kaya so, parang nagkakalabasa ng edad dito. Mm, Ate ka. <laughs> <laughs> Kuya Gan. So you've probably seen and reviewed GPUs from both AMD and Nvidia. And okay. as a tech content creator, I want to know your thoughts about mm -hmm. Intel in entering the GPU market. Actually, I am very excited for this graphics card's performance. Being the third player in the market, it will give the end users the free will to choose between kung ano ba yung gusto nilang graphics card, di ba? Sa kung fit ba sa budget nila, sa needs nila, sa preference. Like, knowing Intel has been great with their processors, I am sure they provide a GPU that will match their standards in tech. Yes, having a third player in the market and getting a new wave of products is sure is exciting for me as an enthusiast, reviewer, and gamer. And of course, for you as a content creator mm -hmm. and streamer. So, let's take a look at the, what Intel GPUs have to offer to the table. Powering the Intel Arc GPUs, including the Intel Arc A750 that we have here, is Intel's XEHPG architecture, which heavily integrates AI in a lot of its features. So let's break it down. Intel Arc GPUs have XMX AI engines, which uses AI to provide more compute capability, accelerating workloads to enhance gaming performance. The AI implementation allows for up to 16 more performance compared to traditional vector units. Intel XE Super Sampling, or XESS for short, is Intel's answer to NVIDIA's DLSS and AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Like DLSS, XESS uses AI deep learning to perform image upscaling, which makes the rendered frame close to native high-resolution rendering. Mm. However, unlike DLSS, which is reserved for RTX or higher-end GPUs, XESS is simply available in all Intel Arc GPUs from the entry-level Intel Arc A380 which we featured last year all the way to the Intel Arc A750 and the Intel Arc A770 GPUs that we have here. Also, unlike AMD's Fidelity FX which is completely on the driver slash software level, XESS is integrated in the hardware as it uses the XMX AI engines as mentioned earlier. Hmm, okay. So, AV1 is something that I'm excited about as a content creator and streamer. Intel is the first GPU brand beating NVIDIA and AMD to release a GPU that supports full AV1 hardware acceleration. AV1 is almost five times faster hardware encoding compared to the software encoding and is up to 50% more efficient than the traditional H264 Encoding. For streamers like me, na minsan lang talaga na stream, pero hindi joke lang. Really? Streamer po talaga. <laughs> Using AV1 will free up CPU and GPU workload, allowing higher FPS in games while maintaining a high quality video stream. Unfortunately, AV1 is uh, isn't fully adopted yet in the industry since pago palang siya. So we can't show you a live demo, but Intel has partnered with industry giants like Adobe, Blackmagic Design, OBS, Magic, 
Magics. Is magics. that Magics? Yeah, Magics. magics or, yeah, Magics, Xlib, and many more to roll out the AV1 codec as soon as possible. If you happen to have an Intel CPU paired with an Intel Arc graphics card, then you can take advantage of the Intel combo with DeepLink. Intel DeepLink enables both the CPU and GPU to work seamlessly and provide improved performance in gaming and productivity by using hyperencode and hypercompute feature. Intel DeepLink is a bigger deal on laptops as they have the dynamic power share feature which intelligently routes more power to either the CPU or the GPU for a performance boost depending on whether your task is CPU or GPU intensive. Wait lang bago ka mag-continue. Kuya Grant. I'm sorry. Al ano may DeepLink? <laughs> Hindi, di ba ano yon pagkain DeepLink. DeepLink. <laughs> Cat dumpling? Oh oh. Ano ba yun? Ayoko na ba? Going back to the Intel Arc A750. Now that we've gone over the features, let's take a closer look at the Intel Arc A750. The Intel Arc A750 is a trimmed down version of the Intel's flagship Intel Arc A770. It features 28XE cores, 28 ray tracing units, 448 XMX engines, it has a clock speed of 2050 MHz and is equipped with 8GB DDR6 256 GB memory for a total power consumption of 225 Watt. The model we have here is a limited edition 16 GB variant in a slim two-slot form factor that's perfect for IPX builds. Actually, I saw it. I want to get away. Pwede ba itong iuwi? Intel, Intel, pwede ba? <laughs> okay, I also love the minimalist black design. It's simply refreshing to see in a world of RGB. Yeah, puro tayo RGB, eh, no? Hmm. Pwede ba yung simple lang? Doon dun tayo sa simple. Yes. I'm sure you're excited to see the performance of the Intel Arc A750. So let's see the benchmarks by Gadget Pilipinas or Kuya Grant. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? So before we start our typical Gadget Pilipinas fashion benchmarks, which is flash on your screen, we benchmark the Intel Arc A750 with the Intel Arc A770, NVIDIA RTX 3060, and RTX 3050. We use the latest drivers for a fair comparison. On Intel's side, we use the stable drivers instead of the beta drivers found on Intel's website. We have a quite few software and games this time around, so let me give you a quick summary. If you want to see more benchmarks at 1440p, check out our detailed article over at www.gadgetpilipinas.net. So, flash on your screen our benchmarks by Gadget Pilipinas from productivity to gaming. Feel free to press pause if you need more time. To summarize, the Intel Arc A750 is able to keep up with the RTX 3060 in most games and beats the RTX 3050 while being able to stay under 78 degrees during our testing which is impressive considering that this is a thin 2-slot card. You know, Kuya Grant, sore sore. <laughs> considering that this is Intel's first take on the discrete GP market, I was expecting a larger performance gap and it's quite impressive to see it being so close and in some cases on par with the current GPUs. Viewers, have you made a choice? Let us know in the comment section which graphics card will supercharge your PC gaming stream seamlessly, enable fast content creation, and spend less time waiting for your project to export. Don't forget to tag your friends and share this post on your timeline. You may be one of the three lucky winners to get 1,000 pesos worth of Steam code. Yes, so don't forget to answer our question. So, Kang, mm -hmm. I'm glad that you pointed that out, that Intel was able to come up with a discrete mid-range GPU while being able to equip with the latest features such as ray tracing, Intel XESS, and AV1 support. As someone who compares and benchmarks PC components for a living, I'm excited to see what Intel has in store and of course the reactions of the competition. So if you're looking for a new graphics card with flagship-like and future 
future proof kala ko bulletproof <laughs> features hindi <laughs> talaga future proof okay, features that's under 18,000 pesos then the Intel Arc A750 should be one of your choices so thank you so much gadget yeah yeah so thank you so much gadget Filipinas for having me and for showing us the performance of the Intel Arc A750 to learn more about the Intel Arc GPUs visit Intel Philippines Facebook page and the links posted in the description. Also, don't forget to follow me, Kang Dupet, everywhere in my socials and watch my stream sometimes at twitch.tv slash Kang Till next time, bye! Yeah!